Hey, what is up everybody? It's Infinity Vortex here, and I am going to be starting something new on my channel. I am going to be doing Minecraft Seed Showcase videos. So every week, I am going to be showcasing five seeds that have at least one thing that can help you out in survival. They're not going to be like uh, big things with all these temples and villages, but they're just going to be little things that you can use to your will. And I'm going to leave all the... Um, Actually, I'm going to put up all the seeds um, on an annotation for each one, and I'm also going to put them down in the description. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys Okay, guys, so seed. in this first seed, um, you spawn in to this uh, giant mesa plateau biome with um, little patches of forests here and there. And you may be wondering, well, this is just a regular old mesa, right? Well, think again, because this mesa plateau goes on almost forever in every direction it just goes on and on and on and I like literally went so far down this direction it just would not stop and I also did it over here I checked in every direction and this thing is just um, ginormous I don't know what is what kind of biomes are around this mesa if there are any, if you know what I mean. And, um, I, the, the funny part is that this isn't even on large biomes. This is on default. And, um, as you can see, this thing is just amazingly huge. And, um, so yeah, if you ever want to do, like, Western survival, uh, yeah, this is the seed for you. I will put it in the description as usual. Okay, guys, next. so this next seed, um... As you can see, you spawn in this snowy forest biome, the taiga biome, and it looks all normal until you come over here in this direction, and eventually you will come across a, wait for it, an ice spikes biome, and these are the rarest biomes in Minecraft. The new update, um, release this biome, um, well it's not really new, it's been out for quite a while now, but um, obviously the 1.7 has these ice spikes biome, which are really rare, but if you spawn, if you create this world, um, there is just a huge, um, ice spikes biome over here, and it just, it's, a, it's really big like that, uh, mesa biome, um, probably not as big, obviously, but, um, as you can see, it's, uh, very vast, and you even got yourself a little lava pool in the middle, I don't know how that works, but, um, yeah, let's just, um, leave it to Minecraft to work its own logic out. So, yeah, this is the second seed, um, on to All right, the so, next. this next seed, you are going to spawn in a regular plains biome with a forest next to it, um, and a swamp there, but if you come over here, there is a village, and when you come to the blacksmith over here, and you check the chest. Um, there are, uh, how many apples? Seven apples, and diamond horse armor right there. Now this is really the only interesting thing I could find in this seed, but hey, it's diamond horse armor. If you ever find yourself a horse, you, you, I mean, you can't craft these things, so you got one right here for you. No searching for dungeons or anything. It's very convenient. Um, so yeah, this is the third seed. On to so this fourth seed is probably the most interesting. You'll spawn in this normal jungle. You got some mushrooms over there, which is cool. But you want to come over to this beach over here, and as you can see, there is a patch of melons on the surface. Now apparently this is possible in 1.7, but if it's not, then this is one pretty convenient glitch because you will not have to go to a uh, searching for mine shafts or dungeons or anything. You have your seeds right here on the surface. That is pretty convenient, but that's not all. We're going to come over here, and there is a pyramid, desert temple, whatever you want to call it. And when we go in it, there's not that much that's interesting. You got uh, an enchanted book for looting, which um, I'm pretty sure it gives you more of whatever the mob or ore drops, so you can get more diamonds per ore. I think, um, that might be another enchantment, I don't know, looting, and it also, um, it increases the chances that, um, the 
mobs enemies are gonna drop more so you can get you know pigs usually drop like one to three pork chops you can get like four or five pork chops and um it goes for every mob animal monster whatever bones iron and it got a lot of iron in here which is actually pretty cool you, i think you might be able to make a chest plate out of that and in here you have some rotten flesh you have some gold and you have gold horse armor which is once again pretty good for horses pretty convenient if you uh if you really like getting horses and you know riding them around a lot so um that was the fourth seed onto okay the last. so this last seed is really messed up you spawn in this deep ocean here so you gotta swim out real quickly if you're doing this on survival and actually another time i went on the seed i spawned in this lava pool right here so yeah that's not really that's not very good for survival now is it so we're gonna come over here to this village and in the blacksmith is something I found very useful, especially for survival. You're gonna come over here, and as you can see, there is 10 obsidian in this chest, with, which is the right amount for a nether portal. So, um, yeah, that's very useful. You don't even, as long as you have flint and steel, you can go to the nether without even needing to get a diamond pickaxe or diamonds in general. So, um, this has been the five seeds for this week, so be sure to comment, like, subscribe, share everything you already know. Stay tuned for more of my seed showcase videos, hopefully next week we'll have some good ones too. And also check out the other videos on my channel. That is all for now guys, peace out.